Welcome to the wide world of esports, a show devoted to all things esports. I'm your host, Catherine Knorr. Today, our show is about networking, the power of networking, the value of esports. Next, my guest is Michaela Frank, and she's an account executive at Esports Trade Association. Welcome, Michaela. Hey, how's it going? All right. So, okay, we're talking about networking today. And we did a lot of networking at a conference in Chicago called Esports Next. And Michaela, why don't you tell us about that conference? Yeah, so um, it's a, a conference in Chicago. Um, it's put on by the Esports Trade Association. It's two days. Um, we started with like you know a um, a networking ball game at the Wrigley Field, and then um, two days of like you know learning about the esports, uh, the state of esports, and um, just meeting other people who have like you know the same interests and all of that stuff. It was it was very fun. I that was my first time in Chicago, and I I I love Chicago. It's a great place. All right, you know, so I found that conference to be different than many that I've attended and probably the most memorable. And and let's just start with the Wrigley rooftop. Okay. So I find out when I buy this ticket for the Cubs game at Wrigley Stadium, I find out that we're going to be at Wrigley rooftops. And I'm thinking, how are we going to watch the game from this place next door? And in fact, uh, if you look at that picture of Lindsay and I, you can actually see that's from a deck at the Rif Wrigley rooftops, and you can actually sit on bleachers up there and watch the game. But what's interesting, Michaela, let me ask you, did anyone watch the game? No, I don't think I, I watched the game at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it turned out to be more of a networking event. And I, when I envisioned this, um, game and going to that Cubs game, I envisioned sitting next to people from Esports Trade Association and us all watching it and then maybe having a chance to talk here and there. But it turned out that we were, you know, eating and talking. And when I I saw you, the picture of you and I, okay, that's kind of interesting. When I saw mm -hmm. you there, I said, oh, I'm going to go upstairs and watch the game or go upstairs and see it. And you looked like totally shocked that I would even do that. And I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I came from uh Dallas, so I had a lot of a lot of fear of the sun. So um, you know, being inside in the shade, maybe looking out at the the field every once in a while was uh, was okay with me. So and there was a lot of people there that I haven't uh, met in a long time. So, you know catching up and uh, all of that, I think was uh, was my main goal to be there, so. Okay, so your goal when you went there, you were, your your goal was to actually see people, talk to them, meet new people? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was uh, like a, I guess like a pre-networking event. So <laughs> um, yeah, just, you know, to, uh, a more relaxed way of like, you know, um, talking to people than, uh, you know, the, I guess at the conference, I mean, not that the conference was any, was not relaxing. It was just a different atmosphere, I guess. Sure. And so what did you, okay. Our lives are like this. I mean, we're on vir we're virtual. In fact, I, I actually, yeah. Morning in a meeting, um, on zoom and yeah, you know, so what do you think is is there anything better about meeting in person or do you think it's the same or, or do you like meeting virtually better? In person, I think it's, uh, it's always a lot better, you know, um, rather than like over zoom, you get, um, you get to like, you know, see the person, talk to the person, um, you know, the, the environment that you're in really makes a difference too. You know, it depends on like where you are, um, you know, in a meeting room, in a conference center or at a restaurant, uh, at a Cubs game, whatever, right? Like the environment definitely uh, contribute to the, the, the atmosphere of like the, the networking 
And but when you're just like, you know, virtual, it's cool because like, you know, you can talk to anybody whenever you can see anybody whenever. But I think definitely it's a different environment. Um, I get too comfortable at home. So <laughs> when, you know, you go out there and you talk to people in person, you have to be, I guess, um, put on a, uh, a more professional face a little bit. Sure. Okay. You know, now let's bring up the picture of you and Amila. It's like, um, <laughs> yeah, that picture. Okay. So Amila, so a little background here. Okay. So Amila was my guest two weeks ago. Okay. And actually behind you is your husband and your husband is actually yes. serene. Okay. So these moments yeah. happen on when you're virtual. These in between moments where you where you're goofing around and taking pictures and and you know, kind of like having those little side conversations. Like for example, if our meeting this morning had been in person, I would have a chance to tell you a funny story or a joke around with you or something like that before and after and walk out with you or, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of things. And then there's no, sh no handshaking hugs or anything like that <laughs> or, or, you know, yeah. you know, selfie together. That's another thing, you know? So let's move on to an, <laughs> a, a very important networking part of that conference. And that is the speed networking. Okay. Let's keep that, that picture up. Okay. So <laughs> Kayla, tell us about what we were doing here. Um, it's like a networking version of like speed dating. I think that's where the, um, what is that? The inspiration coming from, you know, you get to, you sit in a row and a long table and you get face to face with like, you know, another person and you get, I think like three minutes to introduce yourself. The other, uh, uh, themselves and then, you know, just have like a little conversation. And then, uh, when the three minutes are up, you get to like, you know, um, move over and talk to the next person. And then the point of the con of that is, you know, to get to talk to as many people as you can and introduce yourself to as many people you can is, yeah, that's basically what it is. Just speed networking, networking really, really fast. Right. Okay. So now if we, if we bring up the picture again, I'm going to show you something really interesting about this. And I don't know if you mm -hmm. noticed, Michaela, when you were doing it. Well, let me ask you, did you do this? Did you participate? In it? I did not get a chance to, I was doing um, an interview during that time. So um, I did not get a chance to. So by the time I was done with that, I was went over there and everybody was already started. I'm like, oh no, that was the one thing I really, really wanted to do. Okay. So you were, you were doing your pod, the podcast, right? You were hosting. Yeah. The, okay. We'll talk about that in a bit, but okay. So what's interesting about this picture is if you look down that table, there are so many people and the volume got so loud that we could not hear each other. So everyone was shouting at each other across the <laughs> table. Did you hear that when you walked in? Yes. Yes, I did. I think, it, yeah, it was very, very loud, but. It was, it, it looked so much fun. I wish I could have done it. Yeah. I think that it's great to do that speed networking. It's just, you have to separate the tables and move them away. <laughs> Otherwise there is no way. I mean, we were just, I mean, I think everyone's voices were hoarse after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure with all the yelling and shouting and things like that, but. But I mean, but, you know, what, what we're really trying to do is we're really trying to find out whether that person across from us is someone who might be a good connection for the future, yeah. or might be able to have a business relationship with them. Yeah. Cause you never know, right. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know who then, you know, might be a good fit for you. Um, so definitely. Right. Right. And, you know, speaking of that, Michaela. What types of people attended the conference? Oh my goodness, all sorts of people. Um, we had uh, we had college professors, we have teachers, we had um, city officials. I think the city of McKinney was there. Um, we had business people, investment people, lawyers, accountants, uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, we had we had so many 
so many different people there. It was it was crazy. I mean, esports um, connects so many different industries together. So like, it's it's crazy the kind of people you actually meet there. And we also got to meet the experts. Let's pull up that photo of, uh, yeah, okay. So I actually wanted to go to that table, the AR, VR, and the metaverse. And what were you doing about what was going on there? So they, we were testing some kind of like, uh, audio equipment thing. And then I was just asking them about like, you know, the equipment, um, and, uh, I think uh, they had a, a problem testing, setting up the equipment. So a lot of it was me going, hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? So. <laughs> but, but, you know, that meet the expert thing was we had a whole bunch of round tables and they had, you know, a couple expert or one expert sitting at the table and we got to go around, go to whatever table we want and talk to the experts and ask some questions. And when I walked up there, I had no idea what you were doing. I, I, you know, I thought you were having some, I don't know. I thought you were doing another podcast or something. I mean, I wasn't sure. And, and I ended up not, I mean, I think I asked Brandon that was at that table. I think I asked him a question or chatted with him a little bit, but that was kind of, it kind of reminded me of the speed networking in a way because of the way that people were like, it was this, you know, quite a zoo in a way, but it was really fantastic. It was really interesting. Organized chaos is what I like to say. (laughs) So, you know, you know, what was interesting to me, and I think in terms of networking, I've never actually experienced this before. There was a couple of things that I thought were interesting. One of them was the announcements at the very beginning when we were talking to each other, like over at the coffee area, where the announcements were made, do not stay and talk to someone for a long time. Move on and talk to people you don't know, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely, remember definitely. That? I remember that. And I think that uh, held true throughout the entire conference. And I think people actually really did take it to heart because, you know, as people, we tend to stick to people that we know and we st- tend to speak uh, stick to people that, like, you know, we're comfortable with. And But the whole point of, like, you know, going to a conference like that and networking is to um, meet new people and, you know, talk, have conversation with people that you would not normally get to meet. So um, I, I really actually really appreciate it that um that announcement at the at the very beginning the first copy um of the conference sure and people were you know just going up to people they didn't know and they yeah they did that all the time and then another unique thing is we have we had uniforms right i mean we're wearing them right now <laughs> um that is true yeah these are our gamer jerseys that say esports next on them if you show the very first Photo, yeah, there we go. That's what they look like. And yeah. what's your name on the back of yours, Mickey? Oh, my gamer tag is uh, Aqua M. Okay, mine is yeah. Blonde Ninja. Okay, <laughs> but no one—that is awesome. <laughs> no one can see it because my hair covers it. But anyway, um, I thought that that also brought people together. And we there was another thing that was interesting. And in that we actually have committees that make up the association Mm -hmm. and there were tables that had the committee members and Mickey, you were at a, at my table because we're both on the education committee and we have some other people. I don't have a picture of that, but, but do you, how do you feel that that um, puts people together or what do you think about that element of it? Well, I think, um, so part of that is, uh, I think, a, a bit of two things. I think one is to, you know, um, show people what, like, you know, what the association does and, like, you know, um, having, like, different committees and then just dividing them up into, like, you know, what are you interested in you know, when you, within, like, you know, I guess, eSport or the the trade associations because we have, like, research and data, we have events, we have fundraising was part of and yeah we're on the education committee so um it's just separating i guess you know finding your pack 
sort of thing. Like, you know, what, what are you interested in? Like, you know, and then you get to talk to people with like similar interest in you, or like, you know, if you're curious about like a certain aspect of it, you can get to find all the people who, um, I guess, you know, uh, are interested in that or have like knowledge within that particular area. So then that you can say, Hey, you know, I want to learn more about this. Uh, what do you think? Sure. And you know what, I kind of like it better than how a lot of conferences do it where they people are separated either by clicks you know who they like to <laughs> hang out with or they're separated into companies and you have these situations that i or regions or you know or they yeah. might be like you know like in a organization that i'm involved in um you see all the friends hanging out together you see all the people from their local association hanging out together or or um you see um it, you know, it's divided differently. And yeah, I liked how it was divided different, you know, you could move around and, and the, you know, when you, when you have a, a, um, a meeting like this, and you let people sit with their own company, they can sit with their own company, or their own region, anytime, you yep. know, when home, they don't need to travel to do that. So, um, yeah, right. Okay. So let's show the photo of the, um, pitch contest. Yeah. I think it's also like a really cool aspect of the conference, uh, chance to like, you know, I get pitched, the uh, their idea or company or startup, whatever, you know, um, at the end of the day, Eastport next, uh, is still like, you know, a very, um, business oriented, uh, conference. So. But giving a people a chance to do that, I think, is uh, is something unique. Um, it's like, like our own version of like Shark Tank. So, yeah, and and I that isn't really a networking bit, but I had to throw that picture in. Those were the judges, and you know, it just made it fast. <laughs> and you know, what was interesting about this event is it was heavy on the networking, and there wasn't as much content to watch. But that was actually positive because we can do that virtually. What we can't do is meet people in person. And I'm sure yeah. that did when you were you were um, another cool thing is you were actually one of the hosts of the podcast during the during the actual conference right outside. Did you meet yes. a lot of people that way? Um, yeah, when I was, uh, yeah, when I was interviewing people, definitely, I get to talk to uh, a lot of like the, the panelists that were, that was on, that was doing the panel. Um, I get to talk to a lot of like the, uh, the, the vendors who, uh, supported like the, um, the conference. And I think you were like actually my first guest on there. So that was uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Um, and and I think that that's a, just another thing to play around with, another opportunity. And I I found that kind of like a cool addition. Now let's talk about after party. You can't go to a conference without an after party. So let's look at no. photos. Okay, so this one was the Player X one, and and that was a really kind of intimate little after party that was they had actually. You could play games and and you know see some tech and I thought that was kind of cool. What what were your thoughts about that one? Yeah, the um the gamer house was definitely my favorite. Um, I really really like that. I love the chairs at the gamer house. There's little lounge chairs. They were amazing. Um, so I think it's it brought a little like you know um edge to the conference. Um, and the display area by the player X um is also really really cool um yeah i think that that's actually that that was a really neat way to incorporate like um your the, the vendor space and um, networking so sure sure and i did meet people in that space now let's pull up some other after party shots <laughs> okay so this is in the restaurant at the hotel and yes. uh, yeah and then the, there's another one uh with a big group of people um yeah, here we go. We're all sitting around. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, these were neat because it was a really fairly, it wasn't a huge hotel. So 
there was only one restaurant. So if you go to that restaurant, you actually get to sit with people and talk with them. And, you know, so that was kind of cool. What did you think of that, Michaela? I, I liked it. Um, I liked the, the little, like, I guess, bar area that they had. Like, I, it was, like, right out front. And it was, like, um, so after you exit the con convention space, you know, the, the bar is right there. So everybody, like, kind of hang out there a little bit um, before they went to have dinner and whatnot. So it, it's, a, it's a good place to, like, you know, relax and chill and just, you know, recap the day or... Again, you know, like meet people and talk to people. Otherwise, the other one would get to see. And there, and you know what? There was actually a little hidden secret um, networking opportunity that um, that some people shared, and that was taking Uber rides to and from different things. Like Dexter Carr Jr., <laughs> my, one of my former guests, we took the Uber. We took Uber rides to and from the. Um, the Wrigley Rooftops event and you and I and your husband and and I think it was Noel, we shared an Uber to the one of the after parties at um I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, the, the Albert. The Albert. Yeah. And so did you did you make connections in that that opportunity? I did. I actually made made a lot of like uh, connections and during there. And actually, one of the funniest thing was that um during the uh, the Albert uh, after party, I was talking to three different people, and we all realized that we came from the same town within Texas. <laughs> but the first time that we met and actually found all this out was actually in that conference in Chicago. So. That was, you, yeah. <laughs> now, That's what happened when you, you know, you um, you work virtually. Now, um, you know, I had the opportunity to do something really special, and that was I actually met in person a lot of guests that have been on my show. And so let's look at this picture. Okay, so we've got James Hass and Megan Van Petten. We've got um, Nicole Dexter Carr Jr. Um, so they've been guests on my show and, you know, I, it was really fun to do walk around and take selfies with these former guests. And in this one, Jeremy, Justin, Zach, um, Chris, you know, these people were really fun to talk with in person and they'll probably be guests again. And, and uh, then there was another one, the John Cash uh, picture. Yeah. And um, you know, it, it it was very special to meet these people in person. And it was a different way of getting to know them because I've gotten to know them um, by asking them questions. And then I got to hang out with them and find out what they're doing now. And then I'll have them on my show again. So um, yeah, since you, you're a guest for the first time, you didn't get that <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, it's still a lot of fun. I mean, we get to see each other like, you know, in person at a at a networking event at a conference. So that's always definitely always fun. So. Sure. So when you go to a networking event, what is your what's your key objective, Michaela? Um, I don't really have too many key objectives. Um. I just want to get to know the, the person, you know, hey, what are you doing? Um, you know, and like, what is it? Is it in line, aligned with what I'm doing? But even if it's not, it's cool. I get, I, I get to talk to someone who's cool. Um, if so, then, hey, you know, like that, that works out. Um, a lot of like, you know, business connections are made that way. Um, so like I, I went to a mixer about a few weeks ago and I got a chance to talk to somebody who um, was, uh, you know, able to help me um, scout out like a venue for like a, um, a tournament that I'm going to be throwing like pretty soon. So, you know, you never know who is there and you never know like what is it, what they do and how they can help you, whatever business ventures you're doing. So. Sure, sure. So tell us what you're, what kind of things are you're working on i mean i know now you're you have an involvement with the uh, texas scholastic federation tell us about that yeah so what we do is we provide competitions 
um, esport competition for schools within Texas right now. We also provide professional development for teachers within uh, the state of Texas. Um, and yeah, just make giving kids a chance to play, compete, and you know get that uh, experience, learn, grow, get soft skills, and teaching adults what esport is and why kids should do it. And you're heading off to a, a tournament shortly, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. All right. Well, always busy. Yeah. Michaela, thank you so much for being a guest today. No, thank you so much for having me. It's been fun. All right. So uh, thank you to our viewers for joining us today. Um, in two weeks, my guest will be Tom Sick uh, to discuss improving health and performance in esports. See you then.